we'll start with Don't Think Twice, It's All Right, which is one of the earliest Dylan big hits. I think it came off of the second album that he made, which was mostly just him and his guitar, although he had bands on, band tracks on a couple of the things. Uh, it was a, a club song or a coffee house song that any you saw guitar players playing around the early 60s in coffee houses all over the country. It was real popular, and I guess Peter, Paul, and Mary had a hit with it, and lots of other people have recorded it since then. So we'll do that in the key of C. And don't think twice, it's all right. of other New York blues players who were real grounded in country blues were some of the people who taught Bob Dylan how to play guitar. And this song and most of the songs in this tape have this basic uh, blues type of, raggy blues type of finger picking pattern underlying everything. 
that so much of the folk music of the great folk scare of the early 60s had. That was, we call it the hammer famine of the early 60s when people used to sit around their little toolboxes and sing if they ha about if they had a hammer. Um, the basic finger picking pattern I'm talking about goes like this. If you're playing a C chord, your thumb is alternating on five and three, like that, and you're playing, I'm playing five, two, three, one, like that. Of course, it speeds up quite a bit for, but that's your basic pattern to practice. And sometimes you'll alternate and do a double alternating thing where you'll go five, two, three, one, six, two, three, one. Of course, when I do that, if you look at my left hand, you'll see that my finger is alternating on the fifth and sixth strings. So that, that double alternating thing will happen during the backup of the tune. And it'll change with different chords. When I go to the G, it'll be six, two, three, one, four, two, three, one. So my thumb's now alternating mostly on six and four. When I play an F, I do this thumb over the neck F, which you'll see me do a lot. So then I'm going again, six and four with the thumb. And uh, you know, you can do that with a standard F if you like. I, I like to do uh, this thumb over the neck F the way all the old blues players and lots of other people did it. See, on a, uh, on a D chord, I play this funny D9, which you, you can do without your thumb. I do it like this, with the first string open. Instead of a regular D7, I've got the first string open, and I'm doing my thumb there. You could do it like that if you don't like that thumb business. And that's about it for backup chords. Um, the only other thing that's happening during the singing is that I'm connecting up some of the chords with little bass runs and still keeping the finger picking pattern going. So um, if I'm on the G7 and I go back to C, I'll go walk up. So besides doing that walk up, I'm doing some of these treble strings in between, like. split the screen so you can see real closely what's happening with both my right and left hand as I sing a verse to Don't Think Twice It's All Right and you'll get the backup ideas that are going on during that. It ain't no use to sit and wonder why, babe If you don't know by now It's all right. 